we're not going to just talk about universal, affordable, quality childcare. We're going to make it a priority. We're actually going to get it done. After 30 years of success of liberal and conservative promises for childcare, we're going to get it done. Tonight's top story is a national daycare strategy program coming to Canada. Well, Thomas Mulcair reacting to Joe Oliver's fiscal update. He says, yes, the NDP leader has pledged 1 million daycare spaces for $15 a day. And this comes as a new report released this week says there's a gap in early childhood services for Canadian families. Karen McQuaig is with the Atkinson Centre at the University of Toronto, the group behind the report. She joins us now. Uh, Ms. McQuaig, this has been... I think your report at one point says a 50-year push for a Canadian daycare national program, but it's one that parents keep saying no to, so why keep coming back to it? Well, what we see is that, in fact, we're getting a national child care program one province at a time. Uh, we did a, a cross-Canada check-in on where the provinces are at, and we're very uh, surprised to see that uh, the provinces and territories are now inv investing almost $11 billion into early education and care programs for, uh, for young, young kids and, fa and their families. Uh, so there, we're seeing a boost in access. About 58% of children are now regularly attending an early childhood uh, pr pr program. That's up from 20% uh, in, the, uh, in 2006. So progress is being made, but there's still a long way to go. Parents are still spending far too much on, uh, on childcare. And when you, when you look at where we stack up against the rest of our, um, our international p partners, we see countries like Mexico and Chile doing a better job on getting those, uh, those good, uh, that good firm grounding and, and that early education for their youngsters. What, but here's part of what always bothers me in talking to, to child care advocates for the type of program that Mr. Mulcair has. And maybe we should establish that is what Mr. Mulcair is talking about, the Quebec model, what you would like to see across the country. In general, I, you know, leaving aside any issues or quibbles you may have with Quebec, is that in general what you'd like to see across the country? Yes, we'd like to see every family have the choice of uh, placing their child in a good quality early education pr program. We think that that so, should be a choice that families have. But when families are asked what kind of child care they want, uh, this generally ranks much lower than Having a parent stay at home, it ranks lower than having a family member look after the child. It ranks lower than a neighborhood home daycare. And it's not just one poll, it's several polls have found that. And, and yet there is this push for an institutionalized learning environment. And the results are mixed on, on whether this is beneficial to children. I don't think the results are, are mixed. Across the, across the board, uh, whether we're looking at Canadian studies or we're looking at international uh, studies, when children uh, take part in good quality preschool pr programs, we see the benefits accruing through, throughout their, their lives. So the last PISA report showed us that there's a, as much as a year advantage at age 15 in children who have attended preschool in their, in their math scores, their reading scores, their science scores. So that's a pretty good grounding to set somebody off for post-secondary uh, ed uh, ed education. We also know that when, there's, when good preschool is combined with, uh, with good care, that parents are able to go out to, to, to work. And you know, we really have to think about if mothers didn't go to work, what would happen? Like if every, if every mother with a young child decided to stay home to, uh, to tomorrow, you wouldn't have anybody teaching your children, looking after your, looking after your sick, serving your coffee. Across the, the board, women can, uh, contribute $35 billion a year in, uh, in taxes. Uh, so we, we'd be missing an awful lot uh, if mothers didn't exercise their choice to work. Uh, and, and that is a choice that families make, and that's, that's where my issue comes in with the universal program, is that it does take a choice away from families or penalizes families that opt for a different form of care. Uh, if we can bring the board back up showing the cost, I mean, we're already spending, as you call it a, a uh, province by province program, we're already spending 10.7 billion dollars, I'm sorry, that should be a B, not an M there, 10.7 billion dollars is what we're spending, and that doesn't cover what you're looking for or what the NDP or previously the Liberals had promised. So this would be a very expensive program to mount across the country, and as the Quebec model shows, it would end up not delivering on what it's good. That you know, Several studies have shown that effects wear off by grade three, in Quebec, they're seeing a rise in childhood obesity, uh, in a rise in aggression. So 
while it's good for some, I don't think it is the universal answer that proponents make it out to be. First of all, by universal, we don't mean that every child must attend. Uh, we're saying that this is a choice that families should, uh, should have. And I think that we need to look a little bit closer at that uh, Quebec data that's showing pr uh, pr problems. What it's showing is that children who are in good quality pr uh, programs, those community-based, uh, community parent-involved uh, programs, are showing very good, good results. And good results up into uh, those children are now in high school. And, the, and, uh, and Quebec has tipped its, uh, its uh, provincial te uh, test scores from being amongst one of the lowest in Canada to one of the, uh, the highest. Where we're not seeing, seeing results is absolutely true in, uh, in child care that is inadequate. Often in uh, uh, family home child care does not uh, deliver the same stimulating uh, benefits to children that a, uh, that a preschool uh, program does. And that's simply because you're more likely to have trained staff who know how young children learn and develop in a, uh, in a, in a child care program as opposed to the lady down, down the, the street who may be very nur nurturing, may be doing a really nice job, but she really doesn't know uh, how to scaffold that child's learning so that that child's really uh, prepared for, for school. And right. you know, to, to say that parents don't, don't want this, then, I, then, I, then we need to ask, you know, why are the lineups to get into these programs a year long if parents don't want it? Uh, yeah, that's perhaps a question for another day because, uh, so, as I said, several polls when asked what parents would prefer, this does rank lower. Ms. McQuaig, we're out of time. We'll leave it there, but we'll continue to watch this debate and uh, the conference happening in Winnipeg right now.